With Lynn Jones as director of rugby and Darren Edwards coaching, Dragons made the best possible start to the Pro 12 season with a 15-8 win over Ulster at Rodney Parade on match day one and went into this game having won six of their previous eight games against Edinburgh. The home side under Alan Solomons may have suffered defeat at Munster last time out, but the new coach felt there was plenty to build on and he included the returning internationals, Tim Visser and Nicky Walker, in a side that contained five changes in total. There was an exchange of penalties very early in the game. Jason Tovey put the visitors ahead in the third minute. But almost immediately the home side replied as the visitors were penalised for obstruction. It gave Harry Leonard the chance with the penalty and he made it three all five minutes into the encounter. Another Leonard penalty put Edinburgh 6-3 ahead midway through the first half. Dragons once more penalised for indiscipline close to their own line. The 21-year-old out half adding to his tally. Soon after that, Dragons made life difficult for themselves when flanker Lewis Evans saw yellow for not releasing after the tackle as the Scots pressed the Welsh line. So after a low-scoring first half, Edinburgh led six points to three at the break. Seven minutes into the second half came a significant breakthrough. The returning Tim Visser making his mark with a great try in the corner having been set up by a wonderful David Denton offload. Leonard did really well to fire the conversion over from a difficult angle and suddenly Edinburgh were 13-3 ahead. But Dragons showed their mettle into the second half and it wasn't long before the Welsh side were right back in it with a Richie Rees try. The Welsh scrum half sniping off the back of the ruck and diving over from close range. When Tovey kicked the conversion, it was back to 13 points to 10. Five minutes from time, substitute Chris Burton landed a penalty to level matters, 13 points apiece. But there was still time for a huge moment as the full-time whistle approached. The Dragons scrum failed to cope with the driving Edinburgh shove and to the delight of the home crowd, the referee Dudley Phillips awarded a penalty. Leonard kept his cool to kick with accuracy from in front of the posts. Although it took the touch judges a while before raising their flags, but it secured a first win of the campaign for the Scotsmen. Having come so close, Dragons have to settle for a losing bonus point. Final score at Murrayfield, Edinburgh 16, Newport Gwent Dragons 13.